Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'll be showing you how you integrate to checkout to your website. So guys, make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly. So you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do guys is go ahead and open up the official qcheckout.com website and log into your account. After you have created your account guys and logged in, you'll be greeted by this main page right here where you can see your dashboard that you can use for approving your payments and so on. And here at the left side of the screen you have tools that you can use for editing your due checkout account and how your business operates. So as you can see we have an option such as setup, marketing tools, affiliate network and so on. So guys, what we want to do to add our website and integrate it with your checkout is go ahead and add it to our URLs. And how do we do that guys? Well, it's very easy. The first thing you want to do guys is go ahead and find this option right here called integrations and go ahead and click on integrations right here. Now this will open up this new drop down menu guys where you have only one option called webhooks and AP. So guys, we're going to go ahead and click on web, webhooks and AP and go ahead and open up those, that guys. This will now open up this new page guys where you can see that you can see some info such as your merchant code, your secret key and so on. You will use this info guys if you want to integrate with some websites such as Shopify when, when connecting, it, connecting it to your to checkout account it will require these codes and you will be able to find them here guys. Such as your merchant code, your secret key, your secret word which is right here and everything. But guys, if you want to integrate it with your own website, then you can go down here where you can find this option called redirect URL. And under redirect URL, guys, you can see that this option uh, helps you redirect your shoppers to your custom, custom URL after payment confirmation. So guys, what you want to do is go ahead and first check option this that this is enabled, cut enable return after sale, and now you will be able to enter in your URL. Here guys, you want to go ahead and type in your URL, let's say this is our tutorials website, let's say this is our URL, and here you can select the return method. You can go ahead and see, select either link and thank you page or header re redirect, but we are going to go ahead and say, select header redirect. So as you can see, this replaces the thank you pages, we have the warning right here, and after you're sure guys, you want to redirect your page, you can go ahead and click update right here. And after that guys, you can see that says configuration saved successfully and now our page is integrated with our website and will take our people to our website. So yeah guys, basically that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So yeah guys, thank you for watching, take care and bye.